All right, so today I have the Peak Designs Travel Backpack. This is the 45 liter version. Um, I am super stoked to talk about this bag today. Uh, I picked this up brand new, which is rare for me. Typically I buy most everything on the used market, whether it's Poshmark or uh, Facebook Marketplace or whatever it happens to be, right? Um, but shout out to Adorama. Um, they do bundles, which was unique. I haven't seen a whole lot of other companies doing bundles, so I bought not only the bag, but a bunch of accessories and kind of a kit, and they discount the price of it. It was pretty cool. So we're going to jump right into it. Uh, this bag is it's large. Um, it was way more bag than I needed for my trip, but I was just so excited. I was like, I'm going to pack it full of all kinds of stuff, way more stuff than I need for this trip, just to see how it goes. Um, so um, I compared this to the packed travel bag. Um, before my trip, I was just kind of looking at size-wise. Width-wise and depth-wise, it's pretty much the same. Uh, this guy's just a little taller than the, uh, than the pack travel, uh, travel backpack. So, um, getting right into it. It's got two bottle holders, which I love. I think we've talked about that forever. Uh, there's my pack travel mug, which I do recommend. The leak-proofness of this is really awesome. Um, this is my go-to. Uh, for any time I'm traveling. It's just easy because I can put soda in here, I can put coffee in here, I can put water in here. It's simple to clean. It really is um, pretty good from a uh, durability standpoint. It is only 16 ounce. So uh, today I got a water bottle and poured it in and had to drink the rest of the water bottle. Um, but it's nice from a travel perspective. Uh, I typically always kick my bag underneath the seat in front of me on a plane. And so um, I think I have a little, uh, uh, bad memories, PTSD of uh, one of the times, I think it was a Hydro Flask. I hate to make fun of a company that I, I don't necessarily know it was them or not, but it was a bottle like that. And um, when I got all the flight, half my bag was wet and the floor was completely soaked because basically the entire flight water just dripped out of the cup. So, so that was kind of a bummer. <clears throat> all right, and the second one I actually didn't use another water bottle or anything. I just have a sunglass case uh, for sunglasses. Um, all right, so uh, first I'm gonna hit these little super secret pockets. So they put these little stash pockets in uh, right behind the actual bottle holders. Uh, so you have some pretty good depth there, actually. There's, there's some pretty good width and depth there. Um, I got, you know, it's a little like paper clips, rubber bands, and then a business card holder in that side. And if we flip over to this side, um, same idea. I actually have another business card holder and my badge, right? So. Um, so from that perspective, that's what's in there. There's a tiny little Velcro stash pocket that they have an ID card in. So I guess if you wanted to throw like, I don't know, I, I would probably suggest these if you're going to throw a couple bucks in to carry a couple bucks with you outside of your wallet and all that good stuff. Um, but they're really nice. One of the things I did notice that I liked about this is, now I didn't put a ton of stuff in there, but they didn't really get in the way of the stretchiness and the depth that I needed to put a water bottle in there. So. I thought that was really cool. I didn't, it wasn't like, oh, I got all the stuff in my pocket here and, and I can't use the water bottle by it. So grab handles everywhere on this thing. Uh, you got them on either side and the top. And I believe, yes, there's one on the bottom. Um, I, say, I thought I saw that there. So let's just jump in the bag. Uh, again, I packed this out for way more than I needed on my trip. You can kind of see it almost, you know, puff through. But there is expansion pockets. So these two little zippers here, they feel kind of windy. Um, I, I get, I, the zipper itself feels good. The zipper pulls are real tiny and thin. I think they did that smartly so you don't get them confused with other zipper pulls on this thing. Um, but anyhow, so it can expand. Uh, I did not expand it for my trip, but that is a uh, reality. If you're familiar with Peak Designs, uh, like their everyday backpack, they have this pocket here. It's magnetized, um, so it's got two magnets that come down and it's kind of stashed. Um, there's the uh, rain cover, that was part of the, the bubble kit I got that came with it. Um, and then they do have the straps in here if you want to, uh, they have all these little loops here so you can strap like a tripod or something like that to it. I do not use them, so I put them up there. I will say I feel like um, the everyday backpack, the magnets are stronger. I, 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 I don't know. I came out of security and I was doing something and I looked down and both of these were out of this and this was kind of like flipped up. Ugh. So, um, so yeah, I don't know. Uh, I don't know. So anyhow, use at your own risk as you saw that strap just fell. 
So um, we'll get that later. That just hooks in there. So anyhow, uh, that's that. So we're going to go to the pockets. So they have a quick stash pocket here. Uh, just so you know, from a depth perspective, we've got uh, lotion and some breath mints and just some pills and uh, flight wipe, uh, some Advil or whatnot, right? It's contact. So uh, just to give you an idea, that's um, that's as far as my hand goes. So it's uh, just about the depth of that uh, little bottle there over there, that pill holder, right? So. Uh, just so you have an idea there, um, I could not put this bottle of Avino straight up and down in it. Let's put it that way. So you have to uh, cat in the corner. But it's a nice little stash pocket as well. Quick access to anything you need from that perspective. The zips on this are phenomenal. Um, I don't know if they're using YKKs or not. I'm presuming they are, but uh, I feel like I read somewhere where it was a Zoom zip. I don't know. But I will say... I really, it has been a very enjoyable experience with the zippers on this Peak Designs bag. So that's been super cool. All right, so front pouch. Um, we lay front there. Uh, I've got my planner and my iPad, so you can kind of get an idea on depth. Um, and then there's technically four pockets in here, so I'm going to talk about this divider can be pulled down and these pockets can be gone, but I'll get to that in a little bit. So if we're looking at it from this perspective, um, I, when I first looked at this, like I'm used to the Bellroy stretchy material, which feels really uh, illustrious. I don't know. I don't know what the word I would use, but it feels uh, bougie. That's what the Bellroy fabric feels like. And this feels like the 1980s called. And I, I don't want to make fun of Peak Designs. I, I, it actually worked out really well. It feels durable. Um, I guess I just was expecting something different. I don't know. It just, it just, it, it, it still has me questioning it. I like it. I like the durability. I don't necessarily love the feel of it, but maybe I'm just being picky. Uh, charging pack and some random cables and chargers there. I got a hero clip in there. Uh, it does have this little organization pockets there, which is kind of nice, right? Um, so you can get an idea of what's in there. And down here, uh, I just have a pencil case and pen case with some pencils and pens. Nothing major in there. Again, I like the division of the fabric versus the uh, screen material. I think that is a, a good call. Um, and uh, yeah, so these two pockets are part of this. If there was ever a problem I had with the zippers, it was this weird wall that can be pulled up and down. It's really cool. I first had it down, and then when I started packing this out, I realized how useful it is, so I pulled it back up. But as you can see, you could take this entire thing down. This is this is the one part when I say the zippers. There's fabric in here, and the zippers get caught on the fabric, so just FYI. Um, but you could roll this whole thing down, and there's a pocket in the bottom of the bag that you can put it. That's originally how I had it set up. And then, as I was packing, I was like, I need more pockets. And so, I went with putting the wall. We weren't tearing this wall down. So, uh, let's see here. Man. All right, so, in the bottom, I have my computer accessories, cable cord, adapter for a MacBook, all that kind of good stuff. And again, give you an idea, a nice fabric pouch underneath there. Uh, I, I always like... I, I keep my charges and everything for my phone, and I felt like this is good quick access. And then everything else I'm going to use for like when I get there, MacBook, that kind of stuff. I always like, I, I personally would love to have them with the laptop section, but I didn't see anywhere I could put them in there. That made sense, so I put them there. And then um, just deodorant, sunscreen, some masks, stuff like that up here in the netted. If indeed I had to grab a mask or use it, it was mandatory somewhere, which it wasn't on my trip. If I did have to, I have quick access to it at the top there again. So this, um, having quick access to and the accessories up here access to seem to make sense for me. So that's pretty cool. Um, really, really enjoyed the depth of that pocket and everything. Um, after that, it really is uh, the really large pocket. And so basically you pack this thing out from the back so you lay it down on the front, and then you have full access clamshell. I love it. Um, you have full access to pack it all out and the depth in the front here, and then you have uh, your laptop uh, here. So I got my 13-inch uh, MacBook Pro. Um, there is a 
me show it this way. There is a second pocket here for an iPad. As you saw earlier, I have my iPad up front. Uh, I use my iPad on the plane, at the airport and all that. And I just don't feel like opening the back pocket for that. So I keep everything up front because again, when I slide my um, bag down in the plane, I slide it underneath to the front and having to, having to sit on here is just not access accessible to get to. So, um, so all right, so I'll let that. So it's a travel bag and I was going on a short trip and I had to meet with people and there was no way I was gonna use this as my walk into the office with stuff bag. So I packed a, another little bag. Uh, shout out to Manny, my buddy who got me hooked for a uh, Lululemon, I think this is the More Miles Active backpack um, right now. So what this looked like when I actually went down the trip is I had my MacBook, my iPad, and my uh, uh, organizer, my, my calendar book in this bag along with this, which is just a paper tablet thing, right? Um, this is a discontinued backpack, but it's really cool for packing flat. It's lightweight, it's easy, it's actually well thought about. Um, it's a Lululemon, um, which I can say it's the only Lululemon thing I've ever owned. But uh, it's a really cool backpack and has also two bottle holders. So, put that to the side. And here we are, part of the bundle. So, this is not the shoe bag. But I use it as a shoe bag. This is actually the small packing cube. I love the fact that you can just rip these open. They, Peak Designs, they killed it on the um, just the design of uh, of the packing cubes and, and everything. So, um, so anyways, I have my dress shoes, sneakers in there. Again, on a normal trip, I probably wouldn't have an extra pair of shoes, but I was feeling like I had plenty of room. Uh, I always take a pack towel with. So there's that. And this is, I believe, their medium, because I don't think they have a large. This is their medium uh, packing cube, uh, again, with that ability to pull open, which is super cool. And then I also leverage, so if you don't know, let me just explain that real quick. Um, the packing cube itself doesn't fully close, uh, which was on design on purpose. And then there's these two tabs here. And so when you went into the bag, just like if you saw what they did with the small, you just literally yank those apart and you get access to the entire packing cube, right? So, I have access to that entire thing just by pulling those tabs, which is super awesome. Uh, on top of that, it is a compression style bag, right? So um, there is a second zipper right here that I could unzipper and you know you could pack it out even bigger and then zip that around and compress it. And then third, because wait, there's more. Because Peak Designs was incredibly smart with this. Uh, there's a dirty laundry side, which is awesome. So um, whenever you have dirty laundry, um, and you're done with that or you know, whatever this is separated uh, by fabric obviously from the actual main pocket so you can slide that in there so Yay for that fantastic and then last but not least so I'm getting the tech bag uh, I don't have the tech bag this kind of looks similar to it. This is the wash bag um, The tech bag was on back order, so it's a little bit delayed um, And I probably would have packed this differently if I did that, uh, but this is the wash bag it Has a little pocket outside here and then it has a main pocket, uh, which is just the you unzipper, know, and they do their origami thing, right? Um, so as you can tell, uh, that that's just, it's, it's really awesome. There's a hook as well. I'll see if uh, I can insert a picture I took um, from the hotel. I had this hanging on the hook. If not, not a biggie. I mean, there's plenty of them out there picture-wise. But, but, uh, but it worked out really well from a, uh, from a wash bag perspective kept everything in it that I needed. Um, I probably put even, again, a little bit more than I really cared to take, but I was trying to get a better idea. I can tell you with the size of this bag, I could easily go on a week, week and a half trip and not even think about it with all the stuff. Uh, I didn't expand it or anything. Lastly, um, the only other thing that I thought was, uh, you know, gave me any bit of problem traveling was uh, one of these hooks, I think it was this one, kept coming off. Um, it's not a big deal, it's just the it's just the hook to kind of keep the strap down. Um, so functionality wise, it does absolutely nothing. Uh, it's just more to get the annoying dangly strap away, right? Um, I did actually use, when I got the plane, so they have this really cool, uh, you can open and fold your strap underneath thing going on. Oh, they do have uh, a hip strap too, I, I did not use that. Um, but what I did use was this, because again, when I kick my, <laughs> Uh, bag underneath the seat in front of me what happens is a lot of times the straps get caught and then they like bubble out 
and it's just it's annoying that I'm trying to like fish them or feed them back underneath the bag because they're like a trip hazard for the guy sitting beside me in the plane. So um, again, maybe I just think about stuff too much, but there are uh, magnets here. So those straps go in. So literally I get on the plane, I put them in there, I flip that over, I slide it underneath the front seat and now I don't have any of those straps with that mess. And you know, I'm not like first class here. So it's not like I have to jump off the plane when it lands. So I had plenty of time to do exactly what I just did there. Pull those back out and uh, when I deplaned, throw the bag on. So I think that's it. Um, First impressions are, it works really well. It's pretty awesome. Uh, my wife and I have a trip coming up in about the next couple months here for quite some time. And I do believe at this point between the pack travel bag and the Speak Designs bag, we're each gonna take one and it's gonna be phenomenal. The trip's gonna be awesome too, but the packing of bags will be really cool too. Uh, my wife does not think the bag deal is as exciting as I am or as exciting as I think it is, let's put it that way. So, um, that's all I got. It's the Peak Designs Travel Backpack 45 liter version, because uh, it expands the 45 liter. Check out Adorama if you want a bundle. They've got like this bundle, it came with the ring cover, the two packing bags, the wash bag, and the tech pouch, and they discount some of it, which is pretty cool. Um, check out the used market if you want, but, uh, but yeah, check it out. It's a great bag. I think it's well worth the money. Super comfortable, by the way, to carry. I had all this on walking through the airport, and uh, yeah, no problems at all. Super comfortable. So everyone have an amazing day.